Today, we've got some exciting updates about Samsung's ongoing testing of One UI 7.0 on some of their most popular mid-range smartphones. We'll dive deep into what's happening with the Galaxy A53, Galaxy A54, and Galaxy A73, and what this means for the future of these devices. Make sure to stick around till the end to get all the details. Samsung has been hard at work testing Android 15 and One UI 7.0 on multiple mid-range phones. According to benchmark listings that surfaced online, this testing has been ongoing since at least June. A sharp-eyed X slash Twitter user discovered these listings, giving us a peek into what's happening behind the scenes. The Galaxy A53, Galaxy A54, and Galaxy A73 were all spotted running Android 15 on Geekbench. For those who don't know, Geekbench is one of the most popular benchmarking apps for mobile devices, and it's often the first place we see evidence of upcoming software updates. These tests were conducted over the last couple of months with the earliest entry dating back to June 27. This tells us that Samsung has been working on the next major Android and One UI update for these devices for quite some time. Now, why is this important? Well, Samsung releasing new versions of Android and One UI in the second half of each year isn't new, but what is crucial is how early they start testing. Adapting new versions of Android and One UI is a complex and time-consuming process, it's not just about adding new features, it's about making sure everything works seamlessly across a wide range of devices. That's why Samsung likes to get started as quickly as possible, ensuring that by the time the official rollout happens, everything is polished and ready to go. This early testing phase is particularly important in 2024. As many of you know, Galaxy AI is a big deal in Samsung's latest updates, making even minor updates larger and more complex than usual. For example, One UI 6.1 required more time before it was stable enough to roll out to eligible devices. The same seems to be true for One UI 6.11, which has caused Samsung to delay the One UI 7.0 beta program, as we reported earlier. So what can we expect from One UI 7.0 on the Galaxy A53, Galaxy A54, and Galaxy A73? First off, it's important to note that these devices won't be getting any Galaxy AI features with One UI 7. This might be a bit disappointing for some, especially given how much hype there has been around Galaxy A. However, that doesn't mean these updates will be minor or unimportant. One UI 7.0 is expected to bring other major changes, particularly in the visual department. Samsung is known for refining and enhancing the user interface with each new iteration of One UI, and this update should be no different. We can anticipate a fresh look and feel that will make using these devices even more enjoyable. This might include new animations, updated icons, and a clear, more streamlined design that aligns with the latest Android 15 features. Now, while the Galaxy A53, A54, and A73 might not get Galaxy AI features with One UI bring high-quality, stable updates, rushing out a beta version before it's ready could lead to bugs and other issues that would ultimately do more harm than good. So while we might have to wait a little longer, it's likely for the best in the long run. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Are you excited about the upcoming One UI 7.0 update? Let me know in the comments section below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates. And as always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. 
In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go 25 complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6, this is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.